Good day to you and welcome. That's less than fortuitous. Good day to you and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, the Britannia campaign. Fred of Asgarnia here, your host as always. And, uh, right. Less than, I'm less than happy about that frames per second. It seems oddly off. But, um, yeah, what were we doing last time? Last time, we defeated the Scottish Remnant, and you, you messed around with our affairs, usual shoot. But then we went and invaded Norway. Thoroughly disregarding what possible and impending threat is coming from the south, but it looks like the Norwegians have enough on their... Ooh. Why are you addressing me? Because I like green. Now, where's my Grand Fleet? The Welsh have two Grand Fleets, which won't do. Where's mine? Aye, Captain. That's a couple of ships, but I want my Grand Fleet, my big one. You know, the one with the big ships and the big guns. Fleet ready. You're a little fleet, little, you're a wee little man, not you. Come on, where's the big one, the big fleet with the big ships and the big guns? Are you kidding me? Well, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Although, I would rather know where it was. So, do something I very rarely do. Rankings lists. Ooh, not bad. Where are you now? Down Patrick. You should be fighting at the front, sir. You should be fighting at the front with a, with a command rating like that. Admiral Angus, Admiral Donal. Where are you? It's not really telling me where you are, dude. Hey, oh, there you are! <laughs> right, I was wondering what the Welsh were doing. But it seems they have an agenda of their own. It's a powerful army. Hmm. Well, you, sir, could do with a couple of fresh ships. So, depart your berth. Now look at that. Experienced fleet, full of gunboats. This is our equivalent of Nelson's fleet at Trafalgar. The very best we can field, or put to sea, whichever. In the meantime, though, we're going to fight these lads. Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping they give us a, they give us a battle on the open field. I'd rather do that than fight them street to street. As I'm sure would any man in their right mind. Eh, no, you're too old. Sorry. Rioting in Derry. Huh. <laughs> That's nothing new. They've been t they carry on that tradition a couple of hundred years after this period. Sorry, was that was that too political? I shouldn't have brought that up. In the meantime, what should we do? Are we trying we're trying to maximize profit, are we not? I suppose a leather tanner get us better armor. Faction announcements. Keen of cork is whatever. I couldn't really care. Truly. Come on, give battle. Give battle, you wee little man. Well, he can't retreat. Might as well fight him now. Why not? Save the game, and then we go to war. Oh, 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 it's a lovely war. Who wouldn't be a soldier? Woo, woo. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what these men are like. I've never fought the Norwegians. I don't know whether you've noticed, but I've never fought the open the Norwegians in the open field. I know these men are probably average archers, peasant archers again, average Viking raiders, light infantry to my knowledge. Yeah. So these men, meh, negligible. These men, on the other hand, look like they could be buggers to bring down. It's long spears. Okay, so they're spearmen. Right. Okay, these are spearmen. So I'd imagine our, okay, town militia, catapults, crossbows, and more militia. Okay, and what about Prince Bjorn? So we, that would give them as their complement heavy cavalry. That could make things awkward. But, we have pikes to counter their cavalry. We have, we have I suppose, three regiments of cavalry, which stand to us. But we also have some of the best, we have... Great, we have an experienced army. 
So I'm hoping that'll outweigh the, the disadvantages. Right, let's go for it! He who wins this battle decides the fate of... whatever that is. Henry, seeing he could not resist the multitude of Scots, turned his horse with the intention of returning to his companions. But Robert opposed him and struck him on the head with an axe. Ah, Robert the Bruce. And the English knight Henry de Bohun. Heard about that one. Although the way I heard it was that um, Henry challenged Robert, not the other way around. But then who really knows what happened? The pride of Ireland's army. Get up, back, flies. I actually think this is probably one of the best armies we've fielded in a while. When this battle is done, save me a dram and fight to eat. And a good looking lassie! Aye, aye, sir! Units, await my orders! Now listen to this. Listen to the battle cries. Okay, very good. No, that's not really what I was looking for. Come on, say. Okay, what I've noticed is that some of these men have a tendency to shout freedom. Now, I find that particularly ironic, given that we're not fighting for freedom anymore, we're just fighting to slaughter. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Now, what we could do is we could march our men to the top of the hill and engage them on the flank. But I think they're probably confident enough they can beat us. So... Units, bottom up. No, pause. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't form my men into the traditional column, but we're gonna do that. The Norwegian army, it seems to be predominantly... Mm. Marching onto the hill. Then... We'll have these lads hold them. Not sure why I'm doing this. Part of me thinks it's suicide. In fact, it could be a gross mismanagement, but I'm gonna try it. Cavalry... I don't know whether there's even a point massing man on that flank, but go on. Right. Go for it. Go for it, lads. Let's teach these men how Irishmen fight. Well. Let's see. So they've got their cavalry coming in the rear, but I don't think they can join the battle until these men have been sufficiently whittled down. So their horse probably won't play a decisive role in the battle until later. It's happened to me before in these campaigns. Didn't these Mia, I said Mia, these men better equipped them before. They look better armoured. Meanwhile, at the tool shed, these will be the. These are our shock troops. Oh. Right, board a horse. Do your duty. Fact. Rush them. Run at them. Give them a little something to laugh about. They'll probably pull back. They're crossbows, they're not bred for fighting. So I'm hoping really that just... We're just gonna scare them off. I don't mean to carry the charge or anything. Just enough to sort of... Just enough to make them think twice. Now, what have we got? You lads, I want you deploying up here. Are these horse... You silly buggers, get out of there. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Come on. No dilly and no dally. Get to the front, damn you. What about our, um... Okay. Walk. Marche. Highland pikemen, attack the center. They're not bad, I think, if you can keep them in formation. They seem to be fairly sturdy troops. Ooh. A little neat. Okay, Galagliak. You may assault their center, if you please. What are they doing? Right, well, you might as well... You might as well attack, then. You might as well... Go for it, I guess. 
Attack! Be my guest. Oh dear. Seems the cavalry have arrived. Well then, don't waste time. Just go for us. Battle them. Batter them. Batter them. Peasant archers, run them down. Not entirely sure how this fight's gonna go. Look at that, they're already running. They're only militia, so I'm not really surprised. Get down here, damn your eyes. It's where you're needed. Here, give these crossbows something to laugh about. Give them sugar in their tea, sir. And General... General McCommanderson? I didn't expect them to stand. Now, come on, that's it. Press them. Ready? Get them! Now the cavalry, that's gonna be another story. Okay, where are our pikemen? Get them up here. Not that I really think they'll be much good against these men, but... What a shameful display. Alright, you, Mura. Actually, they're probably no good. Oh, border horse are running away. Alright, get our general on, on those horsemen. Where are those Highlanders? Did they run? Or did I just not group them? They're heavy cavalry, they're gonna cause us a lot of grief. Rallying, but I think we have them. Cut him! Okay, yeah, the pikemen have arrived, so we're doing, we're doing something right. Where are those pikes? What are they fighting? Crossbows? Jesus! So it should. How are ye faring? Pikeman, get over there! Mura, you know what to do. Get over here, this is where you're needed. Ooh. We're winning, we'll win. Just hope it isn't too costly. Stay in formation. How are we doing? Only trouble is these, um... They're probably putting up a sufficient... They're really running a rearguard action here. For all intents and purposes, they're running a rearguard action. They're, this, their cavalry is really holding us up. It's stopping us from running a full-fledged pursuit. Whoa. All right, get some other Mura into the into the fray there. Yep, got him. The enemy general lies dead. Excellent. We have set the car to hell. That sh yep, there we go. That's given him a little bit to think about. Excellent. Killed the general and a lot of them run. The enemy are badly bloody. Prince. Excellent. Men. We haven't even lo we haven't even taken half the casualties yet. Very much in our favor. All right. We remain true and steady. They're running. Victory will be ours. We have the bastards. Right, you. You've taken half casualties, but deal with those with those mirror, if you please. Or whatever they are. I don't really care. Just kill them. Look at that. No wonder the Scots were so hard to kill. Their pikemen have given us no end of trouble. I think we I think we bloody their noses. What are these now? Crossbows. I don't mind if their crossbows get away, truly. No concern of mine. They're only crossbows. They'll make things a little bit harder when we... Who's standing, then? Oh, another general dead. Anon Frexkild. We're killing off Norwegians like flies. My sons, I am proud of you this day. Right, run them down. I don't mind the ones who are routing, but the ones who still have full compliments are probably going to give us trouble another day. That's it. Xiao Zhe! That'll learn them. Come on, run. That's it. Shameful displays indeed. Well, I'm quite happy with that. The enemy army 
continue. We've won this battle. It, I don't think it was too costly, either. Our cavalry compliments suffered, and I think our Mura might have been... Our Mura didn't do too badly. One compliment took the... Pro looks like one compliment took the... Come on, how can you not love pikemen? There's just that stolidity. That stolidity, their, their presence. It just... There's something about it that's reminiscent, I think, of the... Um, it's reminiscent of the discipline of soldiers from, say, the 19th century. Just dead straight lines. How can you... How can you? You just can't. That's the answer. Yeah, I think we did quite well. Our cavalry might have suffered, and... I noticed that when I fight battles, my cavalry tend to be the ones who suffer the most. But, you know, Amura weren't... Amura... Oh, look at... See, see what I mean? See what I mean? It just... There's something... The way they stoically advance that just makes it very... Very amu... Well, very... Not amusing. Very inspiring. Surprised I don't rally nearby troops. But we have them, yeah. So I'm going to cut the recording. I'll be back when the screen comes up. So, just one second. Oh, never mind. I was going to point out the... Um... So then the Galagliac and that unit of Mura actually took the most casualties, by the looks of things. Jesus, we really, we really put sugar in their tea. We lost 200 men, but, jeez, we took down most of their army. Let's see the statistics here. Who took the most casualties? Do do do, sugar in the tea, etc, etc. Prisoners caught. Casualties sustained. Right, the butcher's bill. Our Ulster sword, there was a unit of Galagliac, took a lot of damage. Which is acceptable. Because they're mercenaries, so I'm not too concerned about them. Plus, I think at this stage of the game we have better infantry. Uh, Highland Pikeman. Surprisingly, took quite a bit of damage. But, uh, yeah, I think on the whole we did quite well. Quite happy with how that whole battle played out. Could have gone a lot worse. Could have. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. You know the way life is. Now! We actually... We didn't just take them, we actually captured them. But I think they're... They are too dangerous to be... Well, actually, ransom them. Of course they can't. Yeah, I think I honestly am quite happy with how our soldiers did. Right, now we're going to disband this unit of Border Horse. Well, as they served us. And get this rear bolt. And then, we're going to attack. Wick. I don't think we ever actually had this place. Yeah, we really bloody their noses. We didn't just beat them, we bloody destroyed them. So, we should just order resolve this. And the victory is ours. Sack it. Um, there we go. Conquest, Wouldn't call it noble, it was a bloodbath, but, you know, sure whatever floats your boat. So, Wick is ours, and that actually almost leaves most of what was Scotland in our hands. Conan Doyle did well, quite pleased with him, and, yeah, I think we've done quite well for ourselves. So, probably the next order of business might be I... to take Edinburgh. What is it now? It would. It is a. It is a high Irish population. It's probably because it's surrounded by Irish cities. So, I guess. What are you? Why do these? They're floating around my shore with legions. I don't like it. And I mean, if they attacked us now, we'd be in real trouble. If the Welsh did, because our borders aren't exactly well fortified. And look at how far south they've pushed. Yes, Finn of Armagh. See what else they have down there. Okay, Pembroke. So Pembroke is ill defended. On my way. I just need to know. I'd like to know the full extent of what they have. What are you, Keen of Cork? You're not bad. Get some Mura there, if you please. Clathari. I'm not sure if we'll need them. I don't think the Welsh are a particularly cavalry heavy faction. I don't think they are, but. I am open to correction. Now, if I can get any more... S I hate auto-managed cities. I know it's often said that, um... You know, I'm often told, or I have been told, that uh, the micromanaging is tedious. I don't know, I actually really enjoy micromanaging in these games. Stupid as that might sound. 
You're not telling me I have a full cavalry garrison. I do have a full cavalry garrison. Just some Ostmen. They're not really the best troops, but they don't need to be. Now, Tipperary, since we have the funds, we might as well upgrade us. Try to make these things as... Try to make our, um... Try to make our, um, place as impressive as possible. This cathedral isn't necessary. I don't know what I was thinking. The, um, let's see, what else? Armor, I suppose. In a city? Oh, new stone wall. That means Dublin is now probably the biggest city in the country. And I'm gonna be broke. But what of us? Spend all the money! Well, if she was going to offer us an alliance, I wouldn't mind that. I'd be very happy with that. Nope. She was showing us her tits in the hope that we might accept a bribe. Now, granted, normally I'd be quite open to that. Jeez, I'd be very surprised if you have any money left at the end of this. I want to know where they got these scream sound effects. A family tragedy. Did she die? I swear, I hate that. I hate the screams in these games, you know, when a, a woman dies. It's frickin' scary! It's like they pulled it out of a horror film. Okay, Derry. Derry, I actually think we placated for a time. Give me some gun hawks. We'll send them... I'm going to send those around to, um... What, to the western... To the eastern sea. It just seems to make the most sense. Evenness is... Evenness isn't bad. Although I would like to see what else the Norwegians have. So, Angus. Islay. Although I think I need to patrol, I'm going to need to patrol Castletown. I hate because if they get a fleet off, they're really going to cripple us. If they get any of those men on a fleet and land them in Ireland, we're up shit creek without a paddle. Right, I think it's been 15 minutes. You saw a battle as well, so you should be fairly happy. Mustn't let this army go to waste, though. If I were going to take an army actually to attack Castletown, this would probably be a good one. Although, if we could get an alliance with the Welsh against the Norwegians, that might even be better. Ooh. Oh, well, that's not bad. We have 24 regions, we need to take 35. And we have 128 turns to do it. So, you know, we're not too far from finishing this campaign. I mean, let's see, how many cities do the Norwegians have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's amazing! I've got the same combination on my luggage! But yeah, five cities. So if we wage a successful war against Norway, which I'd imagine would take about 20 to 30 turns, that's five... That'll leave us with about six, six cities left to take. And about 90 turns to do it. So then we'll just run a Blitzkrieg campaign through Wales, or even better, through what's left of the Barons' Alliance. In fact, that might actually be the better idea. Completely ignore Wales. Take out the Barons' Alliance, and then we'll have won the campaign. I might ca oh, and then don't forget Edinburgh. Edinburgh as well, so that makes... Yeah, that's another... It's essentially six cities. Six cities that we're liable to take at the moment. So, I don't know. I think we could do very well. It'll leave us with five regions. So it might be for the best then to go after maybe Chester. London. I mean to take London. Canterbury. Oh my god, the Welsh have London. Canterbury then, I don't know. One or the other. So I'm going to cut the recording. This has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always, and I'm signing off. Better check on the cat, actually. Uh.